After last week's unfortunate loss to a player I truly admire, your coach of the Muffin Mudkids is hoping to turn things around in week 2. But one issue. It's a very strong sand team we're against with Terra Exedrill and Urshifu single strike holding us back. Can the squad pull through for our first win of the season? Or are we destined to lose this battle as well? Well, only one way to find out. Welcome. Uh, why am I saying welcome? You already saw the intro. It's week two and I'm terrified. So they got Terra Water Drill, which I was actually saying to a few people it might be Terra Water. I was like, okay, probably Terra Fire, Steel or Water. I didn't take the water too seriously um, because I had so many things that can handle Terra Water. I am Terra Ground on Ape, so I probably can't Terra till. Okay, so they did the Bajana. Galgi, um, they didn't bring a Sinister Star, so automatically my um, Rock Polish um, dude is looking. Mwah. Fabulous. But yeah, that, that Terra Water is unfortunate. I kind of have to get it low for me to really um, have advantage uh, with that. But with it being Terra Water, this thing is now absolutely fantastic. I just can't Terra this till probably late game, and I don't mind that at all. Um, if they had a lead, it would probably be either Azelf to get at Rocks, or it'd be Tyranitar. Those would be the two leads I expect from it all. So in saying that, in saying that, no clap either. By the way, if you see any flickering, uh, it's my OBS um, capture card. I don't know what's wrong with it, but you can only expect the best of uh, things going wrong. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lead off with. Oh my goodness, why are you flickering so much? I do I do I do apologize in advance, but I think I'm gonna lead off with uh, Killer Watchful. Uh, my name didn't save, and I'm kind of sad about that, but. It was either Sizzle or Killer Watcher. I think Killer Watcher makes more sense because if it's as elf leader, I can uh, U-turn um, at the very least. Um, or I can always just stay in and just fire off uh, a Thunderbolt and two-shot it. But usually... Oh my goodness. Okay, it was a Jugalgi lead. Interesting. Flickering, can you please stop? At this point, at this point, people are just going to have to watch the other side about because the flicker... I don't know what's wrong with my capture card. It was working all good um, yesterday. It was working all good today. And now I'm in the battle and it's like, no. Um, does Jogalgi get a fire move? It most likely does. Oh my, if you set up Toxic Spice, I'm going to be plenty annoyed. Um, I think I just U-turn as, um, as my capture card continue to go crazy. So, Dragalgi. I didn't... Did I just get poisoned? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, Rocky Helmet. Okay. So, Dragalgi. Um, if I want to go into something. So, Draco Meteor does take me out. So, Latias. Uh, Sludge Bomb does nothing. If I don't do anything back. Sizzle. Uh, Sizzle doesn't really do much. Vaporeon does very little. Uh, Latios. Uh, uh, switching to a Draco would kill it. Or would kill me. So I'm going to go into this. And I'm just going to see what they want to do. I just want to see what they want to do. They could be Toxic Spice. So. Yep. You Toxic Spice. So this is the second uh, time this. Uh, this is the second week someone has brought Toxic Spice against me. So maybe Salazzle is something I have to always bring. But. Uh, regardless. I just simply defog. Um, lower the accuracy of their moves. But defog, defog makes the most sense at this point in time. Get rid of the uh, hazards. Do you hit me with a fire move? Please don't hit me with a fire move. Do you have a fire move? You probably have a fire move. No, you flipped turn. All right, sweet. And I get some more chippies with my rocky helmet. So no issues uh, there at all. What do you go into in return? Um... Okay, Zapdos. I mean, Zapdos realistically always, always kind of does not do well against uh, this at all. And I could probably start getting this uh, lined up. How much does it do against Galgi? If Galgi comes back in, it does about 35. How much does Zapdos do to me in return? It could always Volt Switch, but I think Volt Switching would be a very dangerous uh, endeavor because of the fact that I do have my Killer Watch rule right there. They could U-turn as well. That is always an option. Um, I'm gonna make the save play into my, um, this. 
because if they do go into um if they you turn back into dragalgi i can always 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 just hit the i can always just hit the diamond storm uh do a little bit of shift and then switch into whatever else all right let's see what you want to do yep you turn probably should expect a u-turn but it makes sense um for it to be the case do do this way if they go to galgi i can probably risk staying in um because nothing can kill me from one hit um in doing so i can get some chip off if they do have the toxic spikes it means um it means i can defog them next turn similarly uh if i decide to uh just switch straight into sizzle i do gotta be careful the sizzle because i can't lose it um all else pop belly who are you so you are the extra drill so drill comes in now um with drill coming in i think i just go into i mean if i go into annihilate against uh extra drill how much does it actually do you're probably a sand sweeper uh quite a lot quite a lot if you are terror water because you are terror water how much do you do you do uh you still do over half to me, unfortunately. If I go into Sizzle. So there's over half. I go into Vaporeon, which seems like my best answer at this point in time. I'm going to go Vaporeon. Um, at least if they Swords Dance, they can just pretty much waste a turn um, as I haze. Um, they don't outspeed, and I don't think they'll Terror. This is also just trying to get them to Terror. Sub, all right. I mean, I'm fine with the Sub. I'm fine with any subs. So your sub left these. Uh, that's that's okay. Because if you tear a water, a long voice uh, will go through the uh, sub. Um, and if you SD, you do get confused. So I'm going to... I'm going to a long voice because I don't lose anything by long voicing. Okay, so do you SD? No, you tear. That makes sense. So tear water, um, meaning Scald is a range to break sub. But if you SD... Um, I get the confusion. I then can simply, um, very simply just, uh, haze and go from there. So do you SD? Yep, you SD. I expect it. So you, you, you're pretty much trying to go for game straight off the bat, which, uh, fair enough. You are in the, a great position to do so. But in saying that, a lowering voice goes through sub, gets a bit of chip, and confuses you. So now you're, now you're kind of risking, uh, hitting yourself in confusion. Um, so I am I am sort of forcing this thing out a little bit in saying that I am just gonna haze uh, now I'm not gonna um, hit yourself you stayed in so hit yourself nope didn't hit yourself uh, high horsepower did quite a lot quite a lot uh, high horsepower yeah, that did about what I was expecting. So you're now back to neutral. Um, so I'm just going to wish. And I'm going to hope that you hit, do hit yourself. Vaporium being low is a bit annoying. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Nope. Alright, so you just take this down. That is fine by me. I would have liked... I would have liked for you to hit yourself. To be honest. It would have been very, very nice if you had hit yourself. But, uh, you know, Beggar's Comfy chooses at the end of the day. Um, so, Sizzle, High Horse Power still does a lot to me. U turn will break uh, sub. Um, and I'll get a little bit of chippies off from. Um, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go into this uh, because though. It's going to hurt. Um, I at least break sub and then I can go into my kilowattle. Because they no longer have, uh, besides um, the Dragalgi, they don't really have a Thunderbolt switch in, and Dragalgi doesn't really want to take too much hits. So this will always break a uh, sub. I was really hoping for confusion. If I get confusion hit here, that'd be uh, really nice. Just don't break out of confusion. That's all I asked. Just don't break out. Just don't break out. Hit yourself. 
any hitting yourselves. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no hitting yourselves, unfortunately. We get the Rocky Helmet Chip, which is great. We U-turn, we break sub. Or should break sub. Yep, sub breaks. Um, so we're sub broken. Uh, where are you at? I mean, realistically, realistically, they don't have, they don't have, they don't have a Latia switch. Like, the, the biggest, uh, thing would be going to this, but then they switch into Tita. Whereas this, I can always, I can actually sub myself. Knowing they have to switch, all else risking them losing this. And that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. Because the thought process here is if I go into Killer Watchel, they generally just, um, they easily switch out anyway. Um, which is, un which would be unfortunate. So I'm going to sub here. Um, knowing that you have to switch because you don't, uh, Draco will kill from this. Even, even a lot of, uh, lost of purge is a roll. But Draco will kill here. Um, so you have to kind of switch. Who do you switch into? Um, don't know, to be honest. There's not many things you can, you can switch into. But I can simply sub, um, uh, in case you do decide to switch into, say, um, your bear. If you go into Dragalgi, that's actually probably best case scenario. But your switch is probably into Azelf. Um, because if I had to see how much I do to Azelf, can't break sub, but Draco Media will absolutely, uh, one-shot it. Unless it's, of course, um... Uh, thing so the idea here is to sub i mean their best play if they go into as they sack as elf yep you withdraw that makes sense go as elf because you sack as to the draco uh media raptor they go tita that is probably uh tyranitar that is probably uh best case scenario for me i don't i never do kill with uh unfortunately I never kill with uh Oris field but you will break, uh, you will break my sub at the very least, and then I can uh, get double damage off on you. Uh, so I'm gonna Oris feel, uh, see what you want to do. Um, if you for some reason have Snarl, that is probably the best prep I've ever seen in my life, and I deserve to lose. <laughs> if you have Snarl, I, I I no longer deserve to win. Um, but I'm not too sad about losing as long as if I get rid of the sand set, I don't want know if they want to risk this. So they do. Okay. How defensive are you? You are AV. You are AV. Cool. That is great to note that you are AV. So you are as assault vested um, out the wazoo. If I go into that ANSI. I don't fear anything. If I go into Annihilate, I don't fear anything either. Knockoff does hurt. Oh, no, you're lefties. You're just super, super, super specially defensive. Because that should have done... Um... Okay, so you're not your leftovers. So that did under half. So 252. Um, it did under half by... A lot. So you have your max defense. So I don't think you can't be max attack. That's the one thing I know. You're not max. You can't be max attack. You can still be adamant nature, but you can't be max attack. Um, I think Diancy is probably my safest play. If anything, I'm gonna go Diancy. Terror Water is annoying. No confusion here. There's all, I know I was relying on RNG, and I shouldn't have, but it is unfortunate. Um. Stealth rocks, okay. Once again, rocks are an always an issue. Um, from here, what do I want to do? Besides the flickering. <laughs> I, once again, apologize for the flickering. Um, they could always go Dragalgi here. Uh, Dragalgi. If they go Dragalgi, um, play rough is always my best bet. If they go back into Exedrill, being tail water now i feel like i feel like play rough is my best option 
And that is the option I'm, and that is the hand I'm going to play. Knowing full well that, um, that if they're iron head, I always, uh, do die. This is tough because I've done very little damage to them compared to the damage they've done to me. Sizzle's on half health. Um, I've, sh I've shown my hand with um, Latios, unfortunately. Um, yes. Yeah, okay, Rap Raptor did switch. Do you go into Dragalgi? Pop Ellie. So you go straight into the extra drill. So you're going for the clean sweep uh, straight away. Uh, so you're now out of sub range, at the very least. You're out of sub range. Uh, if I go into Sizzle, I can't go into Sizzle. Um, you haven't shown me a rock move. You haven't shown me a rock move at all. So you've shown me high horsepower. You've shown me um, if I go into, let's see, if I go into Kilowattro on uh, an Iron Head, a Terra Blast will hurt. An Iron Head will not really hurt. If I go into Latios. Nine head will do about 60. Um, however, it means they pretty much have to sack this. And I'm okay with that, I think. Annihilate. I mean, Annihilate takes everything, everything this thing hits me with. This, that could be a mistake. That could be a mistake. But I'm just trying to think. If I keep... If I keep Annihilate healthy and this thing goes down. Rocks come in. High horsepower. So we did, we got the play right. We got the... We, get, we did get the play right. Sandstorm ended. Brilliant. Um... So, I don't remember how much I actually did um, to Tyranitar. I think I did under I did, I did did under 50. So, realistically, all I need to do here is I can either sub and then Aurosphere, Aurosphere. Or I Aurosphere, Aurosphere. Um, I think I just Aurosphere, um, to be completely honest. Because you're in range of an Aurosphere. I think I Aurosphere, and I say that because of the fact that if I sub, do I get anything out of subbing besides even lower health? Not really, to be fair. Um, But I guess it does, in case Azelf comes in, I can then just uh, one-shot Azelf, not have to worry about um, it outspeeding. So I'm just going to sub again. Yep, they always switch into Tyranitar, so I can just, I can then, I can gauge the damage as well. Big Redhead. Okay, so I was correct in the Azelf uh, coming in. So we sub again. Um, if you have a lowering voice. A lowering voice. If you have a lowering voice, I do die. Um, does a lowering voice make sense here? Not really. Not really. But I wouldn't put it past them. So Exegel is nearly dead. Tyranitar is on half health. Everything else ha doesn't have any chip on it. Um, I can't. If this thing, if I go, yep, you turn, you break, you break sub. So, you break sub. Yep, you break sub. So whatever you go into has to take a Draco. So maybe I should probably, um, I should probably expect that and then just go on for Aurosphere. Um, but it is good for information. Um, if you go into your Urshfu, if I hit the Draco, it will either kill. Reptar, so you go into Reptar. Oh, pff, no. To, to, um, I need more chip. I need more chip. Two, uh, two Dracos, uh, two Oresphere's wasn't going to cut it. We do, we do get it down to half at the very least. Um, and their switches, uh, for this is slowly becoming known because Extra Drill can't really, uh, come in anymore. Trying to think, what is my best play moving forward? There's still Ursh Fruit in the back. Um, we're still looking at a good and I like endgame uh, for the most part. 
they could make a double here. Um, because I have shown that I'm willing to switch in front of this. They could make a double here. Um, I am I am now minus two, so um I'm trying to think what is my best play. So they were willing to okay, 30 seconds. They against Fiancy, they were willing to high horsepower. Um Oh, that's high, yeah, high horsepower, which is a roll to kill. I think I just gotta go Diancy. Um, because I still always force a switch at the end of the day. And I'm still looking um, for those, that end game. Knock off, yep. There's absolutely nothing. So you definitely switch out. Uh, once again, my best play is always to play rough. Um, I get good chip on. I get very good chip. Uh, I think the also the biggest idea is the fact that the more things I chip, the more idea that Sizzle can come in and just start bullet punching. Uh, so Azelf is 100%, Oshifu is 100%, and Zapdos is 100%. Zapdos and um, Azelf I'm not too scared of, um, all things considered. Um... Urshifu is still the big one. Now, part of me probably should have just... Uh... No, even if I did Rock Polish, I still don't know that's speed in sand. So what I did was technically the correct play of just going for the uh, play rough. They can probably go Dragaugi, getting more chip on Dragaugi, which I don't mind um, at all, to be fair. Like I said, Toxic Spikes endgame is an endgame I don't enjoy. Yep, who do you go into? Big Head, so you go into the Azelf. Which I do over half. Do you have anything? You only get Iron Tail. So unless you're trying to damage me for the extra drill, but if I sack if I sack this to the extra drill, my nightlight comes in, or or better yet, even I'm trying to think, what is my best play forward? What is my best play forward? So there's five turns of sand. Everything has been chipped. So there's two turns left. They can't kill me in one. Unless they have Iron Tail, they can't kill me in one. Yep, yeah, you withdraw. I called your bluff, and I was correct in calling your bluff. So this will do, as long as I don't miss, this will do decent damage. Yep, does decent damage. Rocky Helmet. Um, and you get hurt by the uh, Sandstorm. If I let this thing go down now, all things considered, that's not the worst case scenario. I do lose my switches. I mean, everything everything I want to be chipped is now chipped. I, yeah, everything I want to be chipped is now chipped. Uh, Tyranitar can't, um, at some point, cannot start living my um, uh, um, blast. Everything is now ranging for Annihilate. That's pretty much what I've gotten. Everything is now in range of Annihilate. So... I guess the idea is to... Play rough. Because what can... What can... Dragalgi... What can Dragalgi do to me? Nothing, really. So I'm just going to play rough. You're now very, very, very hurt. Flip turn. So now that's nearly dead. Yeah, every everything is everything is looking hot belly. I think 
All things considered. I diamond storm. So you did have iron head. That is fine. Diancy did get chip on everything I needed to. So now. Now it's the play. Now it's the play. Because I can now go annihilate. I can go annihilate. And I can simply. Uh, if they go into. Z oh no. They still go zap those. Zap. Those. It still goes after those. And I can't, I can't go that just yet. I can go this though. I can go this and then just Aurosphere twice. I can go this and Aurosphere twice. Because does Aurosphere kill you at this range? It does not. I could always sub. And then Aurosphere, Aurosphere. Which I don't lose anything from doing it. You always have to switch. Um... Because you go as elf, you've shown many, many, many times that you're willing to switch to U-turn on as elf, knowing full well that you can't do anything back to me. Okay, okay. I think we have the plan. Everything is chip. So they're going for their Urshifu. So Urshifu is most likely mandate. I can I can at least guarantee that. So they switch draw probably to Azelf. If they go Azelf, I can probably... Yep, they go Azelf. Go Azelf. So they... Now they can either stay in. This would be a roll to kill with Luster Perch. This could be a throw. Yep, no, I threw. I threw. I always Aurosphere here. I know they always switch. So that was a throw. That was a big, big throw. Because now they can now they can go into their Urshifu uh, freely. And things become even bigger of a headache. No, you go. You go into that. So you sack this. So brilliant. You sack that. If you go into Tita, I go Scizor and then Bullet Punch. If you go Tita, or if you go Tita, I can... Um, so I don't have to worry about uh, T-Spikes. Or if you go Tita, I go Scizor. Okay, now you go back into Big Head because you know for a fact that you can use U-Turn out. Um... I know you will U-Turn. I know you will U-Turn, but I don't want to make that play. Because if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. See, this is tough. Zapdos has no chip on it, but I know I can still handle it. Okay. This forces Zapdos. All things considered, this always forces Zapdos. So I'm going to go do it. I get more chip on the Azelf, and I'm forcing Zapdos in. No, you Shadow Ball. Okay. So, Azelf against my Kilowattral. Uh, you are always in reign of a Thunderbolt. If they go into then uh, Tyranitar. I do absolutely nothing to it. But then I can always go into... I can always U-turn into um, something else. 
Um. Uh, so you're not on U-turn range, but I can always Thunderbolt you. Thunderbolt into U-turn, into sacking Latte uh, for uh, Annihilate Endgame. Because then Annihilate just comes in and just starts uh, firing up hits. <sighs> if Zathos was just a little bit lower... I could do something. Annihilate if you were here. 100 face tower. Rage bit against Zap. Dos. At 200 base power. Oh, that's 2,200. I don't think I would. I unfortunately don't think I win here. Once again, Hazards is um, becoming a really big issue. And I, I don't know what I, I'm supposed to do. Okay, so they do they do preserve, so they're preserving diff makes sense. Big crit. That was a big crit. Okay. Kilowattro Tyranitar. I unfortunately have to U-turn here. I have no choice in the matter. I have to U-turn. We get some good chippies. My Latios endgame is not looking well. Uh... Yep, knock off. That makes sense. I think you're just out of range of another U-turn. It would either be just out of range or legit a roll. So I, ha I have to go this. I have no choice in the matter. Okay, um, look, the, my opponent played really well. Um, this, once again, was another really hard matchup. Uh, in practice, in prep, and everything in between. Um, how much does Rage Fist do? Because I, I feel like you're going to switch out for uh, uh, Diff. Don't do enough. Uh, yeah, no, I have to just go for a Drain Punch. Oh, no, you sack this. All right, so you sack this, you switch into... If you switch into Zapdos, there's still a ch there's still a massive chance. If you switch into Zapdos, there's still a chance. Yeah, if you if you go Zapdos, there is still a possible chance I can win. I can pull this back. Yeah, because weather ball does a lot depending on how defensive you are. If you are strictly offensive, can't kill, but I at least get to show the tech. Um, trying to think what is the if you go Zapdos, I'm going to switch. Because you're risking a hurricane miss in sand. If you go boom. So my question to you for Urshifu, if I terror, it does not matter. If you abandon my terror, does not matter. And I'm going to presume that you are abandoned. If you are Scarf, hang on a second. If you are Scarf, I live. And then Sand takes you out next turn. Boop. So you're scarfed. Yep. 
you are heavily, heavily defensive. Damn. I unfortunately did not win this. If, if not for Scarf. I mean, it was either Scarf or Banded. Both made sense. Um, so you're probably not max speed, but you're probably max attack. If you're not animate nature. Unfortunately, I'm always in the range of killing. So, he's got a Thunderbolt. You weren't scarfed. How did you outspeed? Jolly? How did you outspeed? Jolly. Jolly, that's it. And Sucker Punch always killed. Uh, you're probably, uh, for it to kill that, that range, you're probably black losses. Yeah, you're black losses. Um, granted, even if I did kill there, I could never um, win. Unfortunate, um, another 0 2 loss. Look, if anything, we stay consistent. We consistently lose. I've lost all my job games this week. We consistently keep losing. Um, the hazards are becoming a bit more of an annoyance, but. At the same time, even if I add a Rapid Spinner, that doesn't solve the issue. And I, I, I do generally believe that. If I add a Rapid Spinner, it doesn't solve the issue. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.